Over the past several months, component prices have finally started coming back down in prices. So we're gonna go ahead and take advantage of that and see what kind of a budget build we can put together today. So the idea behind this build is this. The Ryzen 3000 series processors were released this summer. What that did is it drove down the prices of the uh, 2000 series processor. So we're gonna go ahead and base this around the Ryzen 5 2600 processor. This thing is a fantastic value. Um, I would say that if you're looking at an entry level and you don't wanna quite spend that extra money on say a 3700X uh, processor or the 570, uh, the X570 motherboards, well, this would be a great starting point. I'm gonna put that on top of the B450X motherboard because this thing is a great motherboard. There's some great deals to be found on this. Actually, I picked this up for $89. Um, can't complain about that. Memory prices are finally coming down. So we went ahead and grabbed some Corsair um, 3600 speed kit, 16 gigs. Also, this is starting to finally come down in price. So I believe I picked this up for somewhere around 60 bucks, maybe 70 bucks, I'd have to check that out. I'll put the links in the description below. Um, obviously I went with a very budget oriented entry level card being the uh, Pulse um, RX 570, it was $100. Can't complain about that. And then got the EVGA power supply and I found a nice uh, deal on the um, Thermaltake level 20 uh, MTARGB because you have to have RGB goodness, even in a budget build, um, for its case. So let's get this thing put together and uh, see how it turns out. So here we are, all booted up. Um, works, which is nice. I love it when you get that first uh, boot post and everything is just as it should be. So you don't have to worry about a whole bunch of uh, what didn't work. Uh, yes, I probably should have um, tested my parts before I put them in the case. That's the best uh, plan of practice. However, in this situation, 
I've had very good luck with the, this type of setup, and I just figured, well, let's go for it. It's very minimal, and to pull it out really isn't a big deal. Uh, before I get into installing Windows, and then we'll play some uh, PUBG or something on here, so that or Fortnite or whatever, just so that we can see that it does function, I want to talk about why I built the system the way I did. One, I built this for work. This is going to be a machine that's going to be at uh, where I work at, and... One of my finance people is going to be using it. They're going to be, they use multiple applications, uh, pretty intensive workflow, but CPU based. I'm not too worried about the, uh, uh, the graphics card itself. Now, could, that, could I have gone and uh, done an, uh, an APU? Sure. But the Ryzen 5 2600 is such a good CPU, and the prices on these components were so good, that I wanted to be able to show this is not only a very good work-based machine, but something that could also be used as a budget gaming machine. $100 for an RX 570 card is a very good value. That card will play a lot of games at decent settings. Will it play your AAA titles at full, at full res and, and have um, everything that you want there so you can max out all settings? Of course not. But it works really well. The 2600 was a fantastic price. The, the motherboard was a great price. The RAM is a good price right now. I got this case for a very good value, a very good price. So I'm, I'm very happy with the overall build as to what this is going to be used for. Now, uh, I think it looks nice. I mean, it's not supposed to be an eyedropper. It's going to be sitting at work, but I still think that a build should be clean so it's easy to work on. This case is okay. Not much room in the back for cable management. I mean, you're talking, I don't know, less than a centimeter of space, maybe a half a centimeter of space, five to six millimeters to work with. It's not, it's really not a lot. In fact, when all I did was put in the 24 pin uh, motherboard cable and it's, I had to kind of jam the back case on and there's nothing else combined with that 24 pin cable. A little bit, bit of a disappointment there, but again, this is not meant to be some high end gaming uh, rig with a whole bunch of everything going on it. This is just meant to be simple. That's why it chose this case, that and the price. Uh, but anyway, let's get uh, Windows loaded uh, and then let's go ahead and uh, wrap this video up today with maybe a little bit of gaming. Okay, so <clears throat> here we are in um, Overwatch and I just grabbed Farad for no real reason other than just grabbing something. But um, you can see uh, with this graphics card, I'm sitting at the you know 140s, 150s range. Drop it down to you know 120 at the moment. Um, much happening on my screen at the moment. But it's smooth. I mean that's really what's important. And I'm also playing in a really awkward position with regards to trying to keep a mouse in a decent spot here. Um, anyway, no no excuses. The game looks really good. I mean, this is a, obviously this is a simple game, and it's really easy on graphics cards and whatnot. But um, you can see as an entry level gaming system, if you want to call it that, with a RX 570 graphics card and the uh, 2600. I mean, this thing looks great. <clears throat> I'm not going to complain at all, personally. And again, this is not this build wasn't m built for gaming specifically at the moment. I actually made this for work uh, for one of my finance managers who needed a um, new machine because his old one was having issues. And uh, with how intensive our workload is there, we needed to have something that he could actually use reasonably and have no issues, especially considering we've got customers in our office all the time and the last thing you like dealing with is technical difficulties. It's frustrating. I'll have my items uh, or the actual parts list listed in the uh, comments for you. And then we'll come back and wrap this up here in a second.
Well, here we have it. It's pretty straightforward. Um, very simple machine. It's definitely going to serve its purpose, purpose uh, for what it's built for. Uh, and again, that's to be at work for one of my finance managers to use. He doesn't game on it. He won't be gaming on it, or at least he better not be. Um, but he will be using multiple applications at the same time um, between multiple monitors. We have a lot of stuff that we have to do as finance people um, that can be CPU intensive. This computer will definitely serve this purpose. Uh, I just wanted to be able to show how a machine that's meant for an office in some senses can be built and still used for gaming uh, and that low to mid end. This graphics card, even though it's you know generation old now, it's not the new uh, 5700 or the 5700 XT, it's not the new NVIDIA cards, it's uh, an RX 570. It's nothing exciting, but again, for a hundred dollars, it's really hard to go wrong when you're starting a system off and you're building it around a CPU such as the Ryzen 5 2600, which is a fantastic CPU. This thing will be used for multiple purposes. Uh, it can be used for multiple purposes and just overall is a great, great buy. Only comment I'm gonna make is on this case. <sighs> if you can't get this case for somewhere between 40 and 60 bucks, don't do it. Yes, it comes with three ARGB fans, but ran across a couple things that were interesting. One is the fan header, and this is my own fault. I didn't check when I was looking at it in the first place, but the header that comes off of the, the splitter in the back only goes to a five volt um, RGB header. It's powered, somehow the software will then control it. However, I don't have these fans connected to the motherboard at all. That's not very exciting. So it, to monitor these fans correctly, if I were you know, really concerned about temperatures and usage for like gaming or rendering or that kind of stuff, I put different fans on entirely. I would remove that splitter and I would go ahead and then um, have everything hooked up to the motherboard directly. Uh, that said, if you have an ARGB motherboard, the five volt, five volt plug, like the newer ones, this will work fine, but again, Due to the limitation of working space on it, the some of the build quality is a little eh, it's, it's a little flimsy. Uh, it, it's decent. I mean, you can definitely use this thing. It looks nice. It's got restricted airflow on, airflow on the front due to the glass. It's all got like three millimeters of space, four millimeters of space at best, probably three between the front of the fan and the uh, tempered glass in the front. I would just say that this is looks nice. It'll work well for what we're going to use it for at work, but. If you can't get this case for you know that 50 bucks probably, I probably wouldn't buy this case. I would suggest looking at something else, uh, probably a fractal design case or a, if you can get one cheap enough or um, like a, um, probably just step it up a little bit and get a Fantex uh, P400A. Anyway, um, let me know what you thought of today's video. And it's just kind of a simple build. Look at it, see what you can do with uh, under $800 for a build. and and to show a little performance. If you like today's um, video, you know what to do. If you don't like it, you know what else to do. Hit that subscribe button and stay tuned. I got some more stuff coming up. Have a great day.